Good day and welcome to our journey of the way of the cross. Today we are at station 8, at which Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world, the moment. It is interesting that I am recording this station today, because today's gospel is the story of the woman caught in adultery in the Gospel of John. And the first reading is the famous Susanna story of the book of Daniel. Both strong women in their own ways. In this station, Jesus stops, still holding his cross, to comfort and talk to a group of women who are following him along the way. There are two points of interest at this station that I find have always intrigued me. The first is that while Jesus is talking to these women, he is holding his cross. The cross is in the middle of the picture, and you'll see it in every depiction of this station. And that's important, because while Jesus is comforting these women, it will be through his cross, death, and resurrection that he will be the ultimate comfort to us all, that he will bring hope and he will bring life into our lives, as he does to theirs, as he so he will to you and to me. Secondly, I also notice that this station makes clear that it is the women who are following him along the way. And it is the women who lead in the New Testament in many ways. It is to a woman, Mary, who becomes the mother of God, that God will deliver the news that it is through her that the incarnation will take place. It is a woman who Jesus appears to first after his resurrection. And today we find it is the women who stay with him along the way. The men have pretty much disappeared, but the women stay with him and they walk with him, including his own mother. But these women, unnamed that they are, whoever they are, uh, are staying with him along the way. And I don't think that's by mistake. That is to teach us something and to help remind us what Jesus taught. Because in his culture, in his time, the women were considered weak and second class to the men. But Jesus never treats women that way. They are always first class. He always takes care of them and he sees to their needs and he sees to their love and to their dignity. Maybe a lesson for us all that is found herein. There is certainly nothing weak about these women at all. So close your eyes and put yourself in this position. He is standing there with you. Jesus is there with you in your life, in your pain and suffering, to bring you comfort, to bring you hope. But he is doing so holding that cross. And don't forget that that cross is always there because it is through the cross, which is our primary means of salvation and redemption, that Christ will bring us hope and will bring us life. So in this cross of the pandemic, we walk with Jesus on the road to his death and resurrection. As Jesus stopped to give comfort to the women of Jerusalem, so through nurses, doctors, and other medical professionals, Jesus gives comfort to all who are sick, afraid, and despairing of his mercy. Any of us who have ever been the uh, recipient of medical care of any kind know what a difference it makes when the person giving you care is comforting and kind. Who really cares about you as a person. That's Jesus stopping at this station. That's the power of Jesus working through the medical profession. He gives comfort. He gives hope. He always carries his cross. The prayer. Dear Lord, as we stop with you at this station, we can feel the comfort you are giving to these women of Jerusalem. We are the recipients of your love and comfort. Continue, Lord, to work through those in the medical profession who have direct contact with patients today. Inspire them and help them that they are your instruments and that ultimately they channel your love, care, and hope. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me tomorrow for the night station and know of my thoughts and prayers for you and your family and that the Lord keep us all safe and healthy at this time in our lives.